The New Green Campus is a community-led group that was established in 2011 in Maynooth University. The Green Campus comprises members of staff and students and members of the Maynooth Town uh, that form a committee to try and improve sustainability and environmentalism on our campus. The Green Campus Committee is structured into a number of working themes. These themes include biodiversity, energy, waste, water and travel and climate justice. Each of these working groups has a group leader who organises meetings and we essentially try to promote initiatives and projects and actions in each of these areas. For example, we have a working group on biodiversity and one of the key aims of this group was to try and improve the, um, the number and amount of wildflower meadows that we had on our campus. So this is a key principle of the All Ireland Pollinator Plan. So in, we're seeing that our pollinators such as bees and hoverflies are reducing in numbers over the past de or decades. So we're trying to mitigate this by actually improving the amount of wildflower, wildflower meadows that we have. And over the past three or four years, we've seen great transformation on our campus in that our campus used to be very landscaped and pristine, but we've now given over major areas to these wildflowers, so they're now managed for biodiversity. And already we've seen in increases in our pollinator populations across the campuses. My name is Stephen Seaman. I'm the ground supervisor of the new campus, and I'm also the, the working leader of the biodiversity group of the campus. So my job is to manage all the green space on the campus. Everything from outside the doors is basically my remit. So I specialise in areas such as uh, grass cutting, tree planting, wildflower meadows, pollinator planting, um, anything that's green and outdoors is basically what, what, what I'm in charge of. Similar to the pollinator plants that we have on the campus, there would have been, a, we would have chosen trees that would have been showy or kind of specimen trees from all around the world. We've make, made the decision a couple of years to, to do a native first approach in terms of choosing only native Irish trees where applicable. Um, because the native Irish trees support a much more wide range of Irish um, biodiversity. So it's very, very important that we choose native plants, seeds and trees right across the campus. Last year we were able to set up a, a new garden over on the North Campus that is directly kind of linking with uh, students and staff and teaching them how to kind of grow your own and the, the importance of foraging for your own food. Um, in this area we have beds that are specifically chosen that have like fruiting plants, uh, herbs, um, different uh, raised beds with strawberries, potatoes, carrots, all this sort of stuff. And the plan is as, as we ease out of this pandemic, we're going to have more and more um, events and kind of outreach programs to try and teach people about the importance of growing your own food and foraging your own food. The Green Campus itself is part of a wider national program known as the, the, the Green Flag, the Green Campus Initiative. And this awards campuses uh, for their roles and their activities in these particular themes like biodiversity, energy and waste. So you can apply for one of these green flags and it's organised by Antashka, which is a, a non-government agent or non-governmental agency that is uh, responsible for our built and green heritage in Ireland. And essentially you sign up to this programme and they come and assess your campus under these particular themes. And in 2018 we applied for our flag under six teams and we won the flag for each of these teams. So this just shows you the progress that the Maynooth Green Campus has been making over, over the past few years. Since then we've also won pollinator awards, so national pollinator awards and flags for pollinators. And this year we were awarded a green flag for heritage and we were the first university in the Republic of Ireland to win one. My name's Dorina Bishop. I'm the departmental administrator in the Department of History. But I also work with Maynooth Green Campus. From the start, so I'm secretary of Maynooth Green Campus and I'm in, also in charge of the Waste Working Group. For the start of the semester, our latest project and initiative is trying to remind uh, staff, students, all the users of our campus um, of taking the extra time to select the correct bin that you um, the, for disposing your waste. So they are there's always bunched together the red and the uh, the green. There's also brown, but you know to be, make sure that you only put the compostable in the in the brown bin. 
no liquids, no um, disposable cups in the in the green bin because that contaminates everything else and um, makes it, you know, it won't work then, can't be recycled. So um, that's our reminder message now for people to just to be, take that extra minute, extra second, to just to select the right bin for disposing their waste. So I think one of the biggest problems we face is that as an individual, we feel we can't do anything. That these major issues and crises that the planet is facing, like biodiversity loss, environmental pollution and climate change, are so big that we can't make a difference. At the Green Campus, one of our focuses is to show people that individuals can make a difference. If we are that one person turning off the light switch, all these actions add up. And one of the great successes of the new Green Campus is that we join the dots. We connect people that have ideas with people who can actually turn those ideas into actions. So if you are interested in getting involved, you can join one of our monthly meetings where we have a forum online. And if you have a plan or something that you'd like to see addressed, you can bring it to us and we will then work and do that. And I think that's one of the key things that we need to, to remember is that perhaps alone we feel isolated and that we can't do anything in this tidal wave of crises that we face. But together as communities and if we work as a community, if we work on small projects, they will all add up. And eventually the message gets out, it becomes mainstream that we need to do something. And it's only through the actions of individuals that we can actually maybe address the, the crisis that we face. The ripple effect that the Green Campus has, we believe, is, is enormous. So, especially with the students, we want to engage them here on campus, but beyond as well. Every time we have an event or an activity, <coughs> workshop or even a film screen, when we put people together, they talk about different environmental issues and what the concerns the people have. And by doing that, you bring that concern or that challenge, you know, beyond these walls. And that's the ripple effect that we really want. When students, staff go back home and talk with their family and, and, and their friends about these issues and to really understand that we can make a difference. Looking towards the future, we hope that the Green Campus and particularly our plans and initiatives become mainstream, that they become enveloped in the teaching in Minute and also our future planning. So we hope to be major contributors to our, our next strategic plan, for example. So as we try to mainstream sustainability, environmentalism in the management of our campuses, but also make stronger links to learning. So one of the key aims of the Green Campus is to see eco-citizenship develop in our staff and our students. So to be an eco-citizen means that you think about your environment, you think about your actions and the effect your actions may have on the environment and those around you. Again, once we can sort of highlight the issues that we face and the solutions and potential actions that you can put in place to try and counteract those issues, then essentially you will always be thinking in a particular way. And these students that are coming through our doors at the minute, these are going to be our future managers, our future leaders, our future teachers. So if you have a strong sense of eco-citizenship, if you have a strong green awareness, well essentially that's going to permeate and mediate to the individuals that you come in contact with. And maybe the next generation can have, or can do better with respect to the issues that we're facing. The best way to get in touch with us is through social media or our Manut University that I forward slash Green Campus. Um, we are always updating and, um, the website and social media channels, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook, our main um, channels. And please get in touch yeah, at Manut Green Campus.